Hi, it's me, Davy Weathercock, and Olive, the weather hen. Whether or not she goes outside, you can tell something about the weather by whether or not she goes outside. She didn't go outside today on account of the weather. The weather's kind of turned around and sat down on us. It's what technically you call pissy mountain rain, which is uh, most of the time not. It's not really rain at all. Yeah. So she didn't go, but we had to, one of us had to be ready to talk about it. Well, we took this walk and uh, you can, you can watch this with us if you stay awake. She loves to watch uh, her videos, whether she's in them or not. It's, a, it's as close as she wants to get to some of the characters who ran out there today. But she sometimes falls asleep. Now. Let me put it together. Try to stay awake in the morning. You know, it seems like it's rained a lot this fall, but you know, a short term rain doesn't really raise the water table. The water table is pretty low. The, the gorges aren't raging. A lot of things ripen differently this year. Good blackberries, not very many juniperberries. Not enough to make. There's the last pair, last pair of summer. It's not right there. <laughs> Hey, here's some migrating fowl. Eric, 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 come on, Pierce. Look out. He's mean. Look at those eyes. Ruby. And long fowl. Hey, Nick, sing to us, Nick. Leroy Brown. Leroy Brown. Gorgeous George. Take. Going home, boys. Going home. Leroy, come on home. Let's go home. Back up at Olive's garden. Last tomatoes of summer. Brandy wine. The best. Not for roosters this time. You guys are bird eyes now. Uh, hmm. Take them home. Take them home. Look at them. Home. Look at them. Oh, they're going to be good if they don't rot on the inside. You know, Olive, there's, a, there's another possible explanation. Well, maybe likely explanation for the low, low water table despite the appearance at least of rain I suppose you're well you're not aware no of course you're not aware you're aware super aware of some things but underneath this Cuga Lake that's and under us there's a huge deposit of salt I mean, I call it a deposit. It's an age of salt. It's miles and miles of salt. Only there's a lot less than there used to be because they've been mining it here since the umpteenth century. And they've been spreading it all over downstate to dissolve bridges and automobiles and ice. And the trucks have been taking it out for a long time, and they've been pumping water out of there to keep it from flooding so they can keep working for for quite a while. Yeah, quite a while. Pumps running all the time, mining going on, backhoes reaching this way and that way, chambers being 
exhausted and shut off whole layers and 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 nuclear weapons being well that was supposed to be a secret in fact i don't know i don't know anything about nuclear weapons being stored in the salt mines down there but i but i i i do know about and this pertains to you you know scientists have discovered environmental scientists and behavioral scientists and poultry scientists and nano scientists working together have discovered that chicken feathers have the characteristics of nanotubes. Nanotubes are very fine carbon fi fibers with the pores that have pores in them so that in essence a very small thing has a lot of surface area and can for instance absorb and condense gas under limited pressure huge amounts of it so if you put chicken feathers in a sealed place and force say natural gas into it or methane or mustard gas you could put a whole lot of it in there well since we have a lot of empty space around here some crazy scientist working on a contract research contract for cargo Inc. Corp discovered that you can take that tire tire repair stuff injected into the salt caverns and it will effectively seal them as long as you have a neoprene uh, seal over the opening fill it with chicken feathers of, which are in plentiful supply as a matter of fact they've been storing them down there for years because whenever they try to bury them they fly away and then you have a pollution problem so there's already been a been tremendous amount of chicken feathers down there and now they're gonna go fracking they're gonna inject the natural gas into the chicken feathers under pressure God knows what will happen if that gets out they're gonna stop pumping the salt out in order to save water to use for the fracking and then after they use it for the fracking they'll put the poison back down in there and they're going to flood these caverns where these there are these magnificent carvings in salt done by the first Polish. I just can't believe the damage that's been done and the evidence that we have. All right, that. Well, I'm not really sure about it. But this guy at the harbor. The, you're not. You're not listening. It's a possibility though. Yeah, here, look at the look at the carvings down there. The place should it should be cleared out, cleaned out, looked after. It should be a, a museum. I mean look at the last supper thing here. So there you are. Don't take it from me, but uh, don't believe what you see either. Yeah. Yeah. Where well, there's more than dirt deep.